Good morning, it's Tuesday morning. I'm cooking some pancakes, about to have some coffee and my breakfast, and then I have some errands to run. I've got to work, so it should be a kind of eventful day, hopefully. Um, I'm gonna work on my shawl, the Stephen West Mystery Knit Along a little bit today. I had to frog it last night and restart, and I think I might have to frog it again and restart a third time. Some leaves are finally starting to change. Barely, but it's happening. So that's exciting. There's a little bit change in there. And then a little bit here. And then let me walk in these people's driveway. A little bit right here. So that's exciting. This project is making me say a lot of bad words right now. So I cast on twice yesterday, well, cast on, frogged it, cast on again, worked on it. I had to tink back like three rows because I messed something up and then now I think I'm gonna frog it again. And I had this in there, but I think I'm gonna swap it for this because I think that is more of a contrast situation like that than that. So I think I'm going to take that one out because I have the same amount. I have 50 grams of this left because I made socks out of it before. So that's what I think I'm going to do. If you don't want to see the Stephen West Mystery Knit Along part of Clue 1, close your eyes for just a second because I'm going to show you guys. So this is what I have so far. I really like this color combination better now that I added the green. I felt like the gray was just not working for me. So this is what I have so far. Um, obviously this is a tiny, tiny bit of clue one, but I like how it's looking. It's brioche and it's awesome. So it's crappy and rainy outside. So I've been sitting in the house. Um, it's my lunch break. So I've been sitting in here working on this mystery knit along clue one. I've been watching a couple podcasts. I caught up with Squirrel Pie Productions and I think I'm actually, I heard something really weird. <laughs> I think I'm about to uh, watch Inside Number 23 and catch up on that. And then by then it should be time for me to go back to work. So, um, yeah, I'm happy with this. I almost showed you guys again, but I don't want to show you without telling you because if you're working on it and you don't want to know, which I think everyone who's making it, you're probably as far along as I am on it, but I don't know. I don't want to spoil it <laughs> for anyone, you know, because that's no fun. So, yep, I'm just working on that. Puppies are having a nap and that's basically what I'm doing. about to show you another spoiler. I'm really loving this. So before I frogged it the first three times, <laughs> I had gotten to like right here. Um, so yeah, I would be a little bit further along had I not frogged it so many times, but I'm glad I did because that way I got to change out um, and use green instead of this one. So I think this is looking much better. This is what I'm using now. Instead of that gray I just showed you. So I think it's looking really pretty. I'm very, very happy with it. Like how it's looking. I can't wait to get done with this section. Um, so I can start clue two because that's what drew me to it in the first place. And what's really funny, whenever I got to right here, you have to actually start repeating some stuff. <laughs> there and I was like oh cool so that's it and then I realized um that was on row 22 I have to go to row 95 it's just repeating all of this so I thought I was a lot further along than I am which I should have known because obviously a clue isn't gonna be that big but I don't know I wasn't thinking about it anyways I think it's really pretty and I'm very very happy with it so I just want to say um, although I'm really enjoying this pattern after I started it three times, 
I will say this is something that I'll have to work on by myself whenever there's no other people in the house because that's not to say anyone made me do anything, <laughs> but um, trying to carry on a conversation with someone or pay attention to something and not be able to just stop. You know, like if you're watching something by yourself, you can just hit pause and just, you know, completely mix everything for a second so you can read through and make sure you're on the right track. Um, so this is gonna be a alone project. So I probably won't finish it as soon as I would, you know, if I could knit on it with people around. Um, so that's just my personal opinion. It is something you really have to focus on. This is not social knitting at all for me anyway, but it's really pretty. I love it. So I guess that's good though, because I need to work on my Tecumseh anyway, because I haven't picked it up at all since I tried it on yesterday um, and decided I need to go, you know, a few inches further down. And then I also didn't put a square in my blanket at all yet today. So, you know, that's okay. <laughs> it's okay to have stuff to work on with people around and whenever you're alone, but this is a lot of fun in it. So, I love it. Ooh, what's the linen? You see the linen? You see mama? You gonna help too? Yeah? It's very exciting when we turn on the pumpkin. Ooh. Yay, it's so fun. You turn on your pumpkins. Whoa! And this one is barely lit up. You wanna see him? He's cool, huh? Little bitty guy. He's little like you. And you. Yeah. If you ever wanna feel special, just let your dog tell you how cool you are. <laughs> they think everything I do is the coolest, don't you? I think they're the coolest. Well, come on, hurry up. Woo! There you go. Switch arms. There's an arm. Let's see, what about there we go? That's nice. What's on your back? Nothing? Look at that hat. That looks very cool. Like a good boy with that. You want to show the camera your 